and we could once again talk for 15 more hours about this, but mm -hmm. we had one other area that we want to go touch on talking about some non-traditional applications. And mm -hmm. you're doing some interesting work right now with working systems. C can you tell us a bit about the work that you're doing in its non-traditional sense, please? Yeah, I'm working on a project for, it's actually a local Portland company that does last mile logistics and they do it with people powered and electrically assisted delivery trikes. So you have a rider who's pedaling this trike with the help of a battery or electric motor on it with the battery to get up the hill. And they have about 15 of these, of these trikes in their fleet. And I'm helping them put real-time information. We're basically putting an IOT device on the trike and then building the infrastructure to get that data out. And one of the things, one of my first thoughts in solutioneering this thing was, I'm going to put ignition up on top to get all this data. They don't have the budget for that. It's just, this is a very lean operation. And so my constraint has been, what can, how can I build an operational management system that's getting real-time data from the field? And honestly, it's different data for sure than what I would get out of a factory, but it's the same thing. It's real-time data is coming in. We need to process it. We're getting information when a rider completes a delivery and we're using so there's some chain of custody stuff going on there. And can I put together the components that they need to run their business, but also not build a completely custom solution with a million lines of code that A, they can't afford to pay to get built and B, they wouldn't be able to maintain. They don't have a, an engineering team on staff. So what I'm doing actually is I'm using some open source components uh, is the, the, the main technology that's processing the events as they come in through MQTT. So there's, there's IOT device, which is sending data over the cell to an MQTT broker that then goes into Kafka for the event stream processing. So Kafka is doing all of the heavy lifting of taking that stream of events and doing something meaningful with it. A lot of it's ending up in a Postgres database. So it's several different, so basically it's MQTT, it's Kafka and, and Postgres database. And we think maybe we're going to put some stuff in Mongo. And then they're already using Google platform to run the business. And so Google has this dashboard called Looker, which I think is a terrible name, but whatever. I thought uh, Google discontinued their like IoT or they discontinued some of the modules, no on the IoT side? Yeah, I'm not doing I'm not using any of their so the, gotcha. I'm I'm currently deploying on AWS. This is all proof of concept at this point. We could go to a different platform, but all of my technology stack is completely agnostic to I could run it in Azure or yep. Vulture or one of the other third parties as well. I actually like I'm, I'm, in AWS, they have a thing called Fargate, which will, will run a container directly. So I don't have to have any underlying architecture for it without going into too much. We can go into the nitty gritty of the technology. But the point of it that's interesting to me is that this whole thing is going to probably run in an infrastructure that's going to cost a hundred bucks a month, right? And again, it's a small amount of event data that's coming in from those, from those, I'm getting GPS signal every 30 seconds and then however many deliveries a rider does on a route and tracking all that. But also within we're connecting into their timesheet management system and their accounting system to get data in and out from those devices as well. So not a ton of transactions, but what I think is interesting is, and I, I think that everything I'm doing applies to my manufacturing brain set of this kind of technology, I, I think starts to make sense for manufacturers. And it doesn't mean that the ignitions and the wonderwares go away, but maybe they don't do everything. And so anyway, that's what I'm working on right now. 